What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome into a Wednesday morning episode of the Daily Juice Podcast. My name is Matt Peralta. You guys can follow me across all socials at Sports Talk Matt. And I have no idea what we did last night because we had one play in action and both bets are still in play at the moment. So we'll see what we wind up going tomorrow. If we're up a unit, down 1.1 units, small yesterday, it's probably lost because it's baseball, so it probably lost, but I don't know. <laughs> we're going to bet golf today, guys. I got the FedEx. I've been doing some research, poking around, trying to find some bets that I like here because it'll give us action throughout four days as the FedEx Cup begins, and we have a chance to get into some interesting lines. We'll bet some head-to-heads in this tournament coming up. We'll do some things non-baseball related because it's just, I, I have much more fun betting golf than baseball at the moment. So I know there was a big debate on our Discord channel. If you guys aren't part of our Discord channel, you should be part of it. Now, there's a couple of things, reasons why. One, it's really fun to be in there. Two, you can interact with me. Three, we're going to be doing some shows on there. Now, we already are doing shows with other betting pros experts, but we're going to have some new shows coming at you. Now, I know the first thing you're going to say is, Matt, is the Discord channel Saturday morning chat coming back? As of right now, the answer is no. But, there's a big but there. I got to figure out how to do it. If we do it for Saturday mornings, we have to do it in a way that's going to be one, fun, and two, profitable, because the last time we did this, you guys went one for 13. I'm not kidding. That was the record. I eventually stopped doing it because you guys, I gave you a half a unit to bet with my money. Or maybe it was a whole unit. I don't remember, but you guys lost a lot of money, lost 12 units. So it's always fun to see that only because this is not easy. You know, people can say all they want behind anom- anonymous handles. And that's part of the issue with the internet, right? But you can say, Matt, baseball is easy to bet. Well, if baseball is easy to bet, then congratulations. I'm, I'm happy for you. That's great. You're better at that sport than I am. But on the Discord channel, put your place. Go to the Daily Juice channel on bettingpros.com slash chat. That's a free invitation to get in on the Discord channel. Come on in. Be a part of it. Tell us your place. Heck, if you're winning, I'll trail you. <laughs> like, seriously, I'll trail you. If you're hot and you're good at baseball, I would love to see hot baseball plays. I would love to see better picks than mine on baseball. This is a community, right? If I stink at baseball and you're good, let's ride. Let's go with your picks, Okay. I'm better at other sports, and I'm better at basketball. I'm better at football. I'm better at college football. These are all things that I love to get into and have a lot of fun doing. So we're going to hopefully have some fun this year, this fall. But I don't know if we bring back the Saturday morning Discord chat as of yet. But there could be a show on Thursdays potentially coming for football on the Discord channel or maybe even on the YouTube channel. I don't know. It's a lot of cool things. There's a big announcement coming. You guys are going to hear about it soon, about me and betting bros. It's really cool. We're really happy. We're really psyched about what's about to happen. So we're turning the heat up on this podcast. If you notice, as you're watching on YouTube, this is a brand new overlay. We're going to have some brand new graphics, some new toys to play with for us here. And I'm going to get more heavily involved with the betting pros app. You guys don't have it. Go download it now. And I'll be able to walk you through some cool things that we're going to use The prop bet cheat sheet is going to be utilized a ton this football season, all right? I I am getting my feet more than wet with it to really understand it, to really give give us some opportunities to use the tools that the Betting Pros app brings, make the bets, show you how you can make some bets, and have some fun. So this is all coming in football season, which starts next week, week zero, next week for college football. So it's right around the corner. I don't do many prop bets in college football. I don't really like doing that, but professionally, prop bets in pro football, I love. So we'll do that. We'll do the live stream in case you're curious. The live stream's coming back. There's a new cast of characters, a new rotation. I will be the static host on Sunday mornings here for our NFL one hour before kickoff show from noon from nine to 10 so from noon to one nine to ten eastern noon to one up to kickoff we'll have new people with i'm pretty confident that andrew erickson's coming back and pat fitzmorris is coming back but i think we got some new people coming in as well so it'll be a fun rotation every sunday to break down picks plays and thoughts and prop bets every single sunday so looking forward to that so a lot of really cool things so first and foremost download the betting pros app go do that number two Subscribe or get into the Discord channel, bettingpros.com slash chat for that. Make sure you guys do that. Both those things are free, so why not go ahead and do that? Okay, 
Uh, let's start talking about this golf tournament that will take place in an environment that I think people have to kind of click back in with simply because we're sitting here going, all right, the Olympics are over. The Olympic golf tournament is over. We didn't, Tom Kim almost cashed for us with Olympic golf. We didn't get there, but the FedEx St. Jude championship starting here uh, in Memphis, Tennessee. There are three golfers that I like a lot here with this tournament. Let's start with Sam Burns. Okay. Sam Burns In his last four appearances at the FedEx, he has an average finish of 31st, score of seven under par. Great. I mean, good, not great. 52nd last year, not great, but 20th and 21st the two previous years. Over his last five tournaments, Sam Burns has one top 10 finish and three top 20 finishes. He's finished with a score lower than the tournament average in four of his last five events, and he's carded an average of one under par in his last four tournaments. This is a guy who has been playing well this season. You look at his finishes, 12th at the 3M. He finished ninth at the U.S. Open. He's playing good golf. Top 10 for Sam Burns. I got this with ties. Do not play dead heat rules, okay? Do not play dead heat rules. We're throwing a half a unit down on four bets. Okay, half unit down, four bets. Sam Burns, plus 350, top 10 for him to step up here and play well in this tournament and come into top 10. You can do top 20. Like I mentioned, three top 20 finishes in his last five tournaments. So if you want to jump in on that, I'm not going to hate on it and say, hey, let's go top 20, not top 10. But he finished top 10 in the U.S. Open. And a lot of people were like, who is Sam Burns? Followed it up with the Travelers, not that great, but the Open, he shot 30, he was 31st in the Open, and then 3M came in 12th, shot 11 under there in his last tournament back in July 25th to the 28th. Let's go top 10, plus money, plus 350, half a unit on Sam Burns, top 10 at the FedEx. Two bets involving Brian Harmon, all right? Brian Harmon at this tournament. 31st, 3rd, 75th, 11th in the last four tournaments. He likes this golf course, okay? Didn't play well in 2021. Didn't play great last year, but she'll still shot six under par. He's got one top 10 in his last five events. He's a guy who's finished with a lower score than the tournament average in three of his last five events, including one finish within five strokes of the leader, which is big. He's a guy, if you look at his latest performances and what he's done, the Wyndham, 45th, not that great. The Open, 60th, not that great. But Scottish Open, 21st. The Travelers, 9th. U.S. Open, 21st. Sam Burns is a guy I like him a lot, but Brian Harmon's a player that just is steady. He's just steady. Consistency in his last 20 tournaments, he's had a 90% cut make rate. It's pretty good. 18 cuts in his last 20 tournaments. He's currently 20th in FedEx Cup point standings. So he's got a lot to play for here. I mean, he could win this tournament. He could win this FedEx championship. He's not the longest of golfers, okay? But he's a great putter. Nearly a stroke gained putting on the field in his last five starts. Brian Harmon, top 10, plus 375 for a half a unit. But I'm also going to come in and get him with a head-to-head and go with him against Jordan Spieth. Jordan Spieth is an absolute wild card, okay? But he's missed the cut in two of his last three tournaments. He missed the cut at the Wyndham, 25th at the Open Championship, missed the cut at the Genesis, 26th at the John Deere, 63rd at the Travelers, 41st at the U.S. Open, and he missed the cut at the Memorial. I mean, he's all over the place. It's minus 130. Circus Sports has this in Vegas at minus 130. We're going to throw a half a unit to win a half a unit down on Brian Harmon. Four round head to head up against Jordan Spieth. If Jordan Spieth misses the cut, we're good because I think Brian Harmon's going to make the cut. And I think Brian Harmon's going to wind up getting ourselves very close to the money, if not in the top 10 at plus 375. So Sam Burns plus 350, Brian Harmon plus 375. And, and Brian Harmon over Jordan Spieth, head-to-head over four rounds. 
minus 130. So bet to win that a half a unit, and the two other plays are plus money, half a unit plays. So that leaves us with one other bet that I like to come in with. I tend to bet two units or so in golf I, because of the plus money situation. I don't or I don't really feel like I get to put a whole lot down to have a really fun sweat. And again, we'll add to the pot as we go here with the tournament in terms of head-to-heads and round three, round four head-to-heads when it comes to the FedEx. But Jason Day came in ninth at the Olympics, 13th at the Open, 23rd at the John Deere, 44th at the Travelers after missing the cut at the U.S. Open. He has bounced back in a really, really big day. 19 tournaments this year for Jason Day. He's come away with one top five and five top 10 finishes. In those 19 events, he's made the cut 16 times. He currently sits 26 with the FedEx Cup standings. This is a guy I think we can get behind. And he's four to one to come in the top 10 plus 400 for Jason day. Look, he won the grant Thornton invitational. He came in sixth at the AT and T ninth at the Genesis. I mean, this has been a banner year fourth at Wells Fargo. Jason day has been tremendous this year. He has completely recovered his game. And at four to one, I think this is a great bet to jump in with Jason day plus 400 top 10 at the FedEx. Okay. We got three golfers. We got four bets on these three golfers. Sam Burns, plus 350, half a unit, top 10. Brian Harmon, plus 375, half a unit on the top 10. Brian Harmon over Jordan Spieth, head-to-head, four-round tournament matchup at minus 130 to win a half a unit. And Jason Day, top 10 at plus 400 for us. We will get into some other, as I said, other opportunities going into Sunday. So we have a game on Thursday, the Patriots and the Eagles. I'll have that for you on the podcast tomorrow. And look, I can just tell you right now, if you want to bet it ahead, I'll break it down tomorrow night. But look into the stat trend for teams that are playing joint practices and what they did in week number one. Little tip as to what we're going to bet coming up tomorrow for the Patriots and the Eagles. And then we have a huge slate of games on Saturday. Then we'll get to the FedEx on Sunday with this for, you know, how this tournament is going to go for the FedEx championship. So we've got that coming up on Sunday, Saturday. Also, we've got a UFC fight card. That's going to be awesome to what to do, to bet and watch. So a lot of good things coming up, non-baseball related for us. My name is Matt Peralt. You guys can follow me across all socials at sports talk, Matt every morning, the daily juice podcast presented by bettingpros.com.